Oh okay, guys, so today we'll talk about the weekly. Well, we were talking right now. We'll be talking about the weekly box office, and it's February fourteenth, twenty twenty. There will be an update for tomorrow as well. So, yes. So this is the box office here, and it's just first is Sonic the Hedgehog. Of course, Sonic the Hedgehog is doing really well at the box office. It's doing amazingly at the box office, and now we went over. The amazing box office of this movie it has gross fifty seven million dollars and it's actually surpassing Detective Pikachu. The fans have won and the five people on Twitter have watched this movie it has made a lot of money totally at the box office and it's pretty doing pretty well as well. It's also one of the fastest grossing movies of the year, only being being out by bad boys for life. Next is Bird of Prey and this movie's still doing poorly. Nobody cares about this movie. This movie is like $50 million. This movie will probably will not be in the red anytime soon. I don't think this this movie will probably not be a major, massive box office disaster. But will be a disaster for, you know, box office disappointment. In terms of, you know, movies like, you know, for example, the closest comparison to this movie's performance would be Man Back to National. Not a box office flop, but still a box office disappointment. So Birds of Prey is not doing too well at the box office. And the next movie on the list is, of course, Fantasy Island, which is a small budget horror movie which will probably make back its total money at the box office. You know, the new other new releases are not really doing too well at, at the box office compared to Sonic. And they're kind of more unknown movies, but this movie has always made back its money. We don't have to worry, people don't people who are fans of this movie don't really have to worry about this movie box feeling as it only has a seven million dollar budget so it's a small budget movie so we expect the movie to do well at the box office so fantasy island has been doing really well at the box office and has been really winning out of the new releases besides sonic the hedgehog and actually this m week is really a good week for movies overall next is the photograph which is a romance movie it's actually doing poorly for a holiday movie it's a movie for you know valentine's day in this movie will it'll probably do better on monday because it's a lovely dovey movie and that's for valentine's day but again there are much you know better movies that have came out this week next it week next movie is bad boys for life this movie has been doing pretty well it might actually pass bad boys 2 which gross 400 million dollars worldwide it has now nearing 400 million dollars worldwide and it's one of the first major box office successes of the year. And this movie has been doing extremely well throughout the months. And will probably do, continue doing extremely well, even past $200 million at some point. So, Bad Boys for Life is still doing extremely well at the box office. Next movie is 1917. This movie has also been doing amazing at the box office. Same the Oscars couldn't really help this movie at, at, as well. But... Movie is doing amazing. 913 is doing amazing at the box office. It is beating Little Woman, a movie that they popped up, but it's not doing too well. And as compared to 913, 913 will probably pass $350 million worldwide. And that's basically about 917. And the numbers, of course, has numbers for Zamunzi, the next level, which has grossed $5 million. It is now going down in sales, but this movie will eventually. Will, uh, could possibly pass eight hundred million dollars at the end, if it, if it, but the international sales have declined. So the movie is still doing pretty well despite this movie came out two months ago. As a whole, which this movie had massive ratings compared to the rise of Skywalker. Next is Parasite. This movie actually has been out since October, but the Oscars have boosted this box office sale and probably international sales overall. Parasite has been a massive success at the box office. And we'll continue probably doing, we'll probably get, a, probably could pass 50 million domestically. The Oscars have really helped this movie, which is pretty good because it's a movie that will probably be considered a classic in the future of Korean cinema as a whole. So, and you know, yeah, it's going to be considered a classic in Korean cinema as a whole, so it's doing pretty well. Next is Doodle, this movie. Is the only true competition to Sonic, and it, this is a boring movie. No one wants to see it. It's doing not. It's doing actually pretty okay. It's doing pretty laggy, but this movie is just not doing well. It, it could unless the, unless you know it continues, you know, dropping back twenty percent each week. 
I do not think this movie is ever gonna make back its money. Also, this movie is like a hundred billion dollars in the way it does beat its budget. So this movie is a box office failure no matter what. Okay, this movie is just a box office disaster. So you will, of course, as well. And downhill, another movie that really nobody that came out and kind of got forgotten and sapped is not really doing too well. This movie is just doing a biz movie at the box office came out today. And it's doing a biz movie. So, downhill, not doing too well as whole. Next is The Gentleman, which has been doing extremely well at the box office. It has made back its money. Gentleman is doing extremely well at the box office. Very, very, very successful at the total box office. And it's doing very good in terms of rigs. So, The Gentleman is a box office success as a whole. Next movie is Knives Out. An absolute enormous success for Lionsgate. They are making this into a franchise. Like I said, they should. And I think I sh <laughs> this movie has been nothing but a financial success for Lionsgate. Which we really need a financial success after the flop that was Midway. And, you know, Knives Out is a massive success to making this into a franchise. So that means Ryan Johnson will have to make another Knives Out for Lionsgate. So this movie has also passed $300 million worldwide as a whole. And Knives Out has been a massive box of success as well as proves that people still go watch the original properties. You know, so, Little Woman, <laughs> this movie somehow is still making money. This movie will pass $200 million, probably, because the SAWs popped it up, called it a masterpiece. I haven't seen the movie. I still have no interest in seeing the movie. And Little Woman has been doing extremely well at the box office, actually, for a movie, you know, that, you know, they said that no one went to go see, so... And then the last movie is the same for Rise of Skywalker. Oh dear lord. This movie has been just falling and falling and falling. This movie will probably not pass Joker at the box office. This movie has been falling and falling and falling day by day. Nobody cares about the Rise of Skywalker. I stopped talking about the Rise of Skywalker. And this will probably be the last week we talk about this movie. Okay. Disney's logo did not save this movie at all. It did not, not save the Rise of Skywalker. And this movie is a box office disappointment. This movie still made money for Disney as a whole. But for a Star Wars movie, it's a disappointment. It's the first billion dollar disappointment box office history. And Rise of Skywalker, get out of here. And that's basically it. Goodbye.